Well, what is up YouTube? Uh, here we are, in pretty much and into the second week of November. It's been a really cold week. Last week it was in the 20s. So I'm really excited to see that it's now in, sort of in, back up in the 40s. It was about 50 when I got here. Um, still pretty cold. The main reason I'm here today, however, is because I wanted to show off this. This is the waterborne syrup adapter, and that's the rail adapter down there. I'll talk about this in more detail a little later on in the video, but right now I just wanted to kind of talk about it and, and why I bought this thing and, and, and what I want to get out of it. So a couple of weeks ago I went on Reddit and mentioned how much I love skateboarding and I love carving, and somebody said, well why don't you try out the waterborne adapter? And I was like, what is that? And I think I had a pretty good idea of what it might be, um, just based on videos that I'd seen of like carver trucks and, and things of that nature where the, what happens is the wheels actually swivel a little bit like casters. I wanted to try it out because I'd seen that it makes pump carving easier. I, you know, I love carving and I love pump carving. So I thought, okay, cool. So I saved up, I bought one. Uh, I went ahead and got the rail adapter too because I'd, what I'd seen online was that if you don't get the rear wheels, uh, they, if you don't get the rail adapter, the rear wheels tend to lift. So when you're doing extreme carving, you're, you're basically only on three wheels. And I thought that seemed kind of risky, so why not get the rail adapter and make sure that doesn't happen? Because it seems like that's a bad thing. My first impressions are, uh, you do stand a little higher than, than I'm used to. It's, you're up there pretty high, is how it feels. I got over that pretty quickly. I'm not too afraid of being high up. And that's kind of, you want that because, you know, wheel, wheel bite with something like this is gonna be increased dramatically just because of the extreme turning radius of the, of the trucks. The other thing I noticed is that it's really heavy. I mean, it's a good hunk of metal on this thing. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know exactly how much it weighs, but I'm, I'm gonna say it definitely takes it over the five pound mark which is probably about the, the weight of your average longboard. This isn't a longboard, it's just a you know 32 inch popsicle board, but it's heavier than it was, especially with these Century trucks on here. They added a lot of weight, so this is more weight. The other thing I noticed is that it's because it's very wobbly. If you've ever gotten speed wobblies, you're familiar with the, the sensation, and this can kind of do that. I feel a little unstable. I've only put about a mile on this thing so far, so I wouldn't say I'm the most experienced. I'm far from it. I'm not the best carver. I'm not the best skateboarder in the world, to be completely honest with you, which should be apparent. But it, it seems to me that there, it feels like a whole new board, and it feels like I've really got to work to adapt to it and, and get used to this sensation. If I put my weight down, you'll see how far they go. And you'll notice that will, if you're not, if you're not even on the board, this will dump your ass right on the ground, which you don't want. Fortunately, there are only a few scenarios where that's gonna happen, and number one is if you're rocking it to an extreme on purpose, like I just did for demonstrations, under normal circumstances, you'd have to be carving pretty hard in order to do that. And if you are, your centripetal force is already gonna be holding you to the ground, so you're probably not gonna fall, but it does feel like if you go too far, the board has a potential of digging into the ground and throwing you to the ground. Hopefully, that doesn't happen. Uh, right now I'm just conquering the speed wobblies. I'm not doing the carving that they show in the videos. I'm not there yet. I was there with my old setup, but with this one it's gonna take some time. I really need to just focus on getting used to riding it and balancing and getting a feel for it. I can feel my feet hurt because I'm using muscles that I wasn't really using before um, to really focus on balancing and keeping the thing upright. You know, once you get moving a little bit, it is a little bit easier. They mentioned that in the little pamphlet that they give you. It's, it's like a one sheet that tells you. It's like a bicycle where the faster you go, the more stable you get. Well, I, I wouldn't say that exactly. It's, it's more like once you get moving. Anywho, I'm gonna ride a little bit more. I'm gonna do some more carving. I'm gonna shoot some more footage of that. It's an okay day. It was snowing this morning. Also, I have a new deck up for sale. So I'm gonna show, do some screenshots of that and get some footage of that. Really excited about this one. Turned out pretty cool. And uh, here we go. <laughs>
I'm gonna cut this session short today because it is feeling old man winter out there for sure. A couple of things, uh, like I said, it's a little bit on the heavy side. I'm used to popping the board up, catching it, and then mall grabbing it, and just like walking around with it like that. Because of the offset, it's a little harder to do that. You, can, you still can, although, I mean, come on, you're not supposed to because that's like a poser thing, right? Mall grabbing, whatever. I did my first 180 degree turn on this path, which is pretty hard to do because it's... Uh, well, okay, it was hard to do for me previously because I could not get the board to turn enough to do that. But this time I went toe side, carved a nice 180 degree turn. You might even be able to see it on the... Pardon me, I am... Ooh, I am just out of breath and it's so cold. Uh, you might even be able to see me do that on the video, which... I, you know, like I said, I haven't been able to do that before on this path because it's too narrow for the radius that my skateboard had under its under the previous conditions. <laughs> but this time around, I was actually able to do it. So, yeah, kudos to the fact that you can turn pretty much on a dime with this board. I didn't think I'd be like bombing hills too much. Um, I'm, I don't know. It's going to be a while before I get up the nerve to try that big hill that I like to go down. W without being able to do speed checks, it's certainly uh, a risk. I usually just do foot dragging, which is not good for your shoes, but hey, whatever, shoes are shoes, right? It's better than going too fast and losing control. I wanna say you need to have your feet firmly planted on this board, but I've seen people do incredibly dexterous things, but they might just be much better than I am at, at like dancing and on long boards and things. But for me personally, like I feel bad, like I'm not really the kind of person who should be reviewing this thing and I'm not going to really show it off for what it is because I'm just not that good of a skateboarder, I hate to admit it, but I can barely ollie, I can barely kick turn, I can barely, I can't speed check, there's a lot of things I can't do. So to be honest with you, the, the, the real reason that I bought this adapter was because the, I wanted to be able to punk carve, I wanted to be able to go and keep going without kicking. So the idea that I could pump carve and keep the board going, maybe that's something that I will eventually get the hang of. But that was my primary driver towards getting this board was, you can do that without one of these adapters, absolutely. I'm just not that good at it. It's something that I'm practicing at and still trying to do. Uh, like anything, it comes with practice and I'm sure I'm only gonna get better as I do it more and more, unfortunately. We're here in November, it's at the end of the season, so my chances to go out and practice are, are becoming fewer and fewer and farther between. Anyway, that's, uh, that's about it for today. That's just my impressions that I have on the adapter. Like I said, I wish I was someone better who could really show it off. I'm happy with it. It's scary as all hell. Feels like I'm starting from scratch with a brand new board, and I'm just like, just totally have to relearn everything. Probably this is about the point that I'm gonna clip to the footage of the skateboard that I just made.